One of the best ways to prepare yourself for a listening test is to listen to as much spoken English as possible as often as you can. Assalamu alaikum and hey guys, for today's lesson, I'm going to provide you with some tips and techniques on how to answer your listening paper. Not just to pass, but to score with flying colors. So often, we normally focus on speaking, right? How about listening? Understanding what someone else is talking is just equally important if you want to communicate effectively. Some of the ways that you can do to help you improve your listening skills is by listening to English program on the radio, listening to English songs, watching the English movies, and do lots of practice via listening audio. So, for today's lesson, I'm going to share with you some tips and techniques to improve your listening skills in order to help you to answer your listening paper. In this video, I will be giving tips for part 1. You would have to watch my next video for part 2, 3 and 4. So stay tuned with me at English Meet Possible with Teacher M. The test would provide you with 25% of your total of 100 marks for your English paper. Look at these core guidelines. Alright, now let's move on to our main focus of the day. The task consists of four parts. For part one would be multiple choice questions which carry seven marks. You are given three options to choose from, either A, B or C. For part two, it would carry eight marks. There are also multiple choice questions with three options, but you will be dealing with a longer text this time. As for part three, on the other hand, would provide you with five marks in total. You would have to choose statements given from a list, A to G, and match them with the correct speakers. And finally, for part four, you will be provided with 10 marks. The activity is to listen and fill in the blanks. You are only required to put a one-word answer in each blank. There will be seven questions altogether for part one. Your task is to listen to seven different short situations or conversations. First, you have to read the questions carefully and highlight what do the questions want from you. Second, focus and listen to the audio on a short situation given. Third, try to identify which could probably be the answer. And next, listen to the audio one more time. And finally, choose the answer either A, B, or C. Shade the answer immediately on the answer sheet if you are confirmed and sure that your selection is the correct answer. Now it's time for us to have a practice. What I share with you today are the sample questions which were taken from this workbook, Listening Test Form 5. To get the complete exercises on listening, you may refer to this book. 
Let's listen to the audio for question number one. Please remember, for this part, focus on questions that you are dealing with only. For example, if you are dealing with question one, do not refer to any other questions. Just read and refer to question one only. Now. Let's take a listen to the audio. Question one: You will hear a boy talking about families. My family consists of my dad, my mom, and two brothers. We have our problems, but we always solve them together. My best friend Johan lives with his adopted parents. They are loving and nice. Johan's biological parents had to give him up, as they cannot afford to raise him up. They were too poor. Meanwhile. One more friend of mine, Lola, lives with her mother only. They often spend time together and get along very well. Which one do you think is the answer? Let's listen to the girl one more time. Question one: You will hear a boy talking about families. My family consists of my dad, my mom, and two brothers. We have our problems, but we always solve them together. My best friend Johan lives with his adopted parents. They are loving and nice. Johan's biological parents had to give him up, as they cannot afford to raise him up. They were too poor. Meanwhile, one more friend of mine, Lola, lives with her mother only. They often spend time together and get along very well. Well, which one do you think is the answer? Yes, the answer is A, a single family. Lola comes from a single family. She only lives with a mother. Now let's continue and look at question two. What did Marilyn experience when she was a toddler? A. A flood. B. A tornado. Or C. A mild earthquake. Let's listen to the short text. Question two. You will hear a girl talking about natural disasters. Marilyn's father was a diplomat. When she was about four years old, her family lived in Japan. One evening, there was an earthquake. Luckily, no one in her family was harmed, as it was a mild tremor. Later, when she was nine, her family lived in England. They were warned of a tornado and so managed to protect themselves from the disaster. Four years later. Marilyn's family moved to Indonesia. While visiting their relatives in Kalimantan, they were caught in a flood but were rescued quickly. Hmm. Did you manage to get the answer? Let's listen to the audio one more time. Question two: You will hear a girl talking about natural disasters. Marilyn's father was a diplomat. When she was about four years old, her family lived in Japan. One evening. There was an earthquake. Luckily, no one in her family was harmed, as it was a mild tremor. Later, when she was nine, her family lived in England. They were warned of a tornado and so managed to protect themselves from the disaster. Four years later, Marilyn's family moved to Indonesia. While visiting their relatives in Kalimantan, they were caught in a flood but were rescued quickly. Well, which one do you think is the answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is C, a mild earthquake. This question tests you on your vocabulary, where you would have to understand the meaning of the word toddler. The meaning of toddler is children that range from one year to four years old of age. And based on the listening audio, we heard that Marilyn faced the mild earthquake when she was four years old. I guess by now you've already got some clear picture on how to answer questions in part one of your listening test. Let's have more practice anyway. Look at question number three here. What did the boy find difficult about being a football player? A. The lack of time for leisure. B. The tight competition schedule. Or C, the pressure from the football coach. 
Now, let's just listen to the situation here. Question 3. You will hear a boy talking. My football coach is very strict. I practice almost every day, so I rarely have time to relax. It was hard for me to relate to the movies my friends are talking about. But they are always happy to hear my stories about football, so that worked out fine. What really gets to me, though, is the demanding competition schedule. I get very burnt out after each competition season. Hmm, did you manage to locate the answer? Let's listen to the text one more time. Question 3. You will hear a boy talking. My football coach is very strict. I practice almost every day, so I rarely have time to relax. It was hard for me to relate to the movies my friends are talking about. But they are always happy to hear my stories about football, so that worked out fine. What really gets to me, though, is the demanding competition schedule. I get very burnt out after each competition season. So, what do you think? Well, the answer is B. You got it? Yes, that's great! Now, let's move on to one more example here. Look at the questions. What did the residents agree on after cleaning the neighborhood? What did the residents agree on after cleaning the neighborhood? A. They would get together. B. They would clear the drains. Or C. They would not treat the neighborhood as a dump site. Let's listen to the audio and try to figure out the answer. Question 4. You will hear a girl talking about her neighbors clearing the drains. Last weekend, there was a heavy rainfall in my neighborhood. Soon, the whole area was flooded. We realized this was due to the fact that the drains were clogged with rubbish. This Saturday, everyone in the neighborhood got together and cleared the drains. We also picked up rubbish around our area. We then agreed to no longer treat our neighborhood as a dump site. Well, let's listen one more time. Question 4. You will hear a girl talking about her neighbors clearing the drains. Last weekend, there was a heavy rainfall in my neighborhood. Soon, the whole area was flooded. We realized this was due to the fact that the drains were clogged with rubbish. This Saturday, everyone in the neighborhood got together and cleared the drains. We also picked up rubbish around our area. We then agreed to no longer treat our neighborhood as a dump site. Did you manage to get the answer? Yes? That's awesome! So, the answer is C. They would not treat the neighborhood as a dump site, as it was mentioned in the last sentence saying that they agree not to treat the neighborhood as a dump site. We can see here that the key word here is agree. What do they agree on? So guys, we are aware now for part 1, you will listen to 7 different situations like this. It's so simple, right? And I'm sure all of you should be able to answer the questions correctly. Remember to read the question carefully and highlight the important points if necessary. That's all from me for today and do watch my next video to get some tips for part 2 of your listening test. All the best people and see you next time in English Made Possible with me, Teacher M.